you guys welcome back to another video on the channel this one's going to probably be posted on the same day as another one because i don't want to count this as a content video because it's not so what this video is is it's going to be a basis of the channel um i've already had to take this same scene four times because i keep catching things that i don't want to be catching on the on the film so uh it is starting to rain so i'm going to shut the door here real quick and uh well i guess we'll be fine it is only mist so I'm going to look down here. Sorry for looking down. It's just there's a lot of things here that have my address on it. And we are not going to be checking out my address because I don't need a ton of people showing up at my front door. Anyway, this video is probably going to be a little boring. So you can click off of it if you want to. Like I said, it's just going to give you guys some information. So essentially what I want to do with this channel, it's, it's about where I want to go with this channel. Right now, as of 3 12 2020, 3 18, or not 3 18, 3 11 2020. We are sitting at approximately 40 subscribers and over 3,000 views. And honestly, I'm surprised we hit that. I'm not going to lie. I didn't have much confidence. That's my bad. I just, being a small town, like not a small town kid, just a small town farm, uh, being on a small town farm, it's just, it, you don't get much attention. And to put yourself out there in the middle of public and, and on YouTube, and trying to figure out and build a base. It's just, it's, it's very not feasible. It just doesn't feel like something that could happen. And to gain something like 40 subscribers means that there's 40 people that actually want to see your content and roll out with it and actually care. Now, it doesn't mean that the views are very high, which is okay with me. I just wanna see that there are people who care. And essentially the bait for that worked. I, I, I see that there are people who wanna do this. now. Let me start off by saying that I'm extremely happy and extremely excited to see that there is an actual seed growing for a base of a channel, and I'm happy with that. And I'm kind of sad to see that some of the other channels that I used to watch are going down because of their uh, uh, getting into political views, and I don't want to do that. I want to keep up. I want to stay consistent. I want to see friendly. Um, I may say a few swear words, but don't worry. I'll try to bleep them out. But uh, So what I want to tell you guys right now is we are on a channel, we are on a small farm, okay? We all invested into it, and it's, it's extremely important to us. We are, don't have a lot of money, okay? We, we, aren't gonna, we don't have a huge foundation to work with. We are building up our, our farm. We have a lot as far as property goes, meaning in our terms, but we don't have enough to say that we're a big farmer because we have a four row combine and an eight row planter. So you can't really say much, you know, we can't really say much about being a big farmer because we're not. And I think that that's exciting for some people. I want to see this grow. I, my plan here is I want to make YouTube a part of the farm and YouTube, or part, the farm a part of YouTube because I want to see them both grow and I want to integrate the two together and I want to see that community grow. And I, I think building a community is extremely possible out here. I mean, there's a lot of great people on YouTube that, you know, you don't see that every day. And I, I, I love seeing that people are actually interactive with this because farming is not something that you see every day. Farming has become these big farmers who have 12 combines sitting in uh, a 6,000 square foot barn, which isn't even nearly big enough, a 60,000 square foot barn, that, you know, they have all these machines, millions of dollars, they can do whatever they want, when they want, and within reason. And you don't see those farmers out there who have really tiny small farms that, you know, where slim budget, slim work, and you don't get to see like the, the treacheries of building that because it just doesn't exist anymore. All the big farmers bought everything up. So that's what I kind of want to show you guys here. Now, the other thing is we don't have a loyalty to any company, which is kind of nice. We don't, we aren't loyal to Case. We aren't loyal to International. We aren't loyal to, which is the same company now. We aren't loyal to John Deere. We aren't loyal to Ford, Kubota, any of them. And so if we talk something up, it's for a reason. We talk them up because we like them. It works. Now, I'm not saying that the Case Internet or the International Harvester 1420 is a bad combine because we use it and it's worked. It's not perfect and nothing's perfect, but I'm not gonna tell you that 1440 sucks because we don't have one. It's easy as that. Now, this Ford behind us, it's not got the hood off because it's a Ford. No, it's got the hood off because it sat for 10 years. I'm not gonna say, oh, well, look at this. We got a Ford, eight, or a Ford 901 Powermaster back here with the hood off again because it's a Ford fixer repair daily. No, uh-uh, ain't gonna happen because that's not how it works out here. It's, you use it, if it works, you talk about it. If it doesn't work, you talk about it. That's how it works. That's how I wanna stay. And I wanna keep everything transparent with you guys. So, 
that's essentially the basis of where I want to go with this. I want to hit by, like I said, I don't know if I said it earlier or not. I want to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of 2020, which would be amazing to me. That would be awesome. Extremely, extremely happy to do this. I am extremely excited, like overjoyed to see what we have grown. Now, one video did take off as far as my terms go, which was the international, or not the internet, it was the 6430 premium video, which hit 1.7 thousand views today, I think. And that's extremely impressive for me because I used to get like 18 views. So that's ex extremely impressive and it makes me happy and it gives me drive. And I hope to keep building that. And I don't know how to say it, but it's, I'm happy to see that there is a community for this. And before I keep repeating myself, I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and end the video. So anyway, I... I I don't I don't I feel like I'm missing something but I know I'm not. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you will join me on this adventure. Me and my family, I hope you'll join us on this adventure of trying to start a farm, where it takes us and essentially where it lands us. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in another video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and give me your inputs down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.